you want to know what echoes are and how beneficial they can be to you in weathering waves. First up, what are echoes? Echoes are going to be the type of equipment in this game. They serve as the function of armor and accessories like in a traditional RPG game. When equipping echoes to your resonators, it will provide them with a variety of stat increases from HP to attack to energy regen and potentially damage boosts. Echoes are what give your resonator the main bolt of their stat increases. Every echo has an active ability. There are currently five total slots for each of your resonators. The echo that is equipped in your first slot will have its echo ability available to you. The order of the rest does not matter. Each echo will come with a different cost requirement that ranges from one to four depending on the echo class. Each resonator has a cost limit of 10 at the start but can progress to 12 through your databank upgrades. The different classes are common class which will cost you one, elite class which will cost you three, or overlord class and calamity class which will both cost you four. Each echo will have two main stats and up to five substats. The primary main stat can differ whereas the secondary main stat is set for each echo class. Depending on the echo class the possible primary stats are for the common class you can get HP percent, attack percent or defense percent. For the elite class you can get HP percent, attack percent, defense percent, energy regen percent or elemental damage boost percent. For the overlord and calamity classes you can get HP percent, attack percent, defense percent, crit rate percent, crit damage percent or healing bonus percent. Quick note with the elemental damage boost it can only be one of the possible elements and not all elemental damage boosts. The possible secondary main stats are for the common class it will be flat HP and for the elite overlord and calamity class it will be flat attack. Echo substats are randomly generated every time you upgrade it by five levels. Just to make you aware the substats can also be the same as the main stats so the possible substats are flat HP, flat attack, flat defense, HP percent, attack percent, defense percent, crit rate percent, crit damage percent, basic attack damage bonus, heavy attack damage bonus, resonance skill damage bonus, and resonance liberation damage bonus. Echoes can also be leveled up to increase the main stat bonuses. However, the substats need to be unlocked via tuning and they can't be changed or increased. The maximum level of an echo is determined by its rarity, which ranges from rank two to rank five. The higher the rarity of the echo, the higher the stats will be for its base level and when being upgraded. So what is tuning? Tuning is going to be the mechanic that will allow you to unlock the substats for your echoes. A substat slot will be available for tuning for every five levels an echo has, with a maximum of five slots at level 25. Tuning requires materials that can only be obtained via the set field cleanup. This is including your one-time rewards. So it is advised to save them for your echoes that have your desired main stats. Also a quick note, different rarity echoes use different tuning materials. So how do you collect the echoes? When it's a set discord or monster enemies is defeated, there is a chance that it will drop an echo behind for you to absorb. The drop rate and rarity of echoes absorbed will depend on your data bank level. Enemies in the the world will reset daily. This timer is unique to each world so it is possible to join a friend's or another person's world to farm more echoes. The loot in co-op is personal so every player in the instance has a chance of getting an echo after it has been killed. So this means you can farm echoes infinitely and more effectively by grouping up with other players and rotating to each of the worlds. To unlock co-op you need to reach union rank 30. What is your data bank? The data bank is the menu where you can check your data dot progress. Check which types of echoes you have obtained so far and more more. Data bank has three sections to it, data doc, echo gallery and sonata gallery. Data doc is the function that determines your echo drop rate, max absorbable rarity, enhanced absorption probability and cost limit. Each drop rate starts from 10% and can go up to a maximum of 20% once hitting data dot level 10. Max absorbability rarity dictates the highest rarity you can obtain while absorbing an echo. It starts from rank 2 and can go up to rank 5 at data doc level 15. Keep in mind that you can only obtain one rarity below your rank. For example, if your max absorbability rarity is currently rank 4, the lowest rarity of echo you can possibly get will be rank 3. Enhanced absorption probability refers to the percentage chance of you obtaining the highest rarity of an echo. This probability starts from 20% and can go up to 100% at dock level 20. Echo gallery is an echo compendium that allows you to check your echo collection progress. They a dock experience gained from each echo type, possible sonata effect the echo can have and allows you to track them on the map. 
Sonata Gallery allows you to check each Sonata effect, what they do, and which Echoes can have the selected Sonata effect with ease. Echoes also come in sets and equipping multiple Echoes from the same set will provide your Resonator with additional bonuses. There are currently nine different sets and each of them have two and five piece bonuses. Equipping the same Echo multiple times will not count towards your set bonuses. If you want to have a look at what all the set bonuses are for each element type, you can pause the video now. So hopefully you found this video helpful and you can understand what Echoes are a bit more. Make sure to follow me over on my Twitch as I will be streaming all day and all night on the full release of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.